Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be going over camel role playing with autonomous agents. Uh, this is coming from this paper that came out. Uh, basically, the TLDR is, is just a cool way for you to see how agents interact with each other and see what kind of creative things that they can come up with if they are, you know, prompted the right way and can just go back and forth, which I think is super cool. Uh, are there practical applications for this? Maybe. Or is it mentally masturbatory? Probably. Um, but anyways, let's just get into it and kind of talk about how this all works. And yeah. Uh, so basically, I kind of like just augmented this from, again, it's on the documentation of Langchain. So you can definitely check it out there because uh, they do have a notebook. I just wanted to follow along and see how it worked for myself. Um, and so in this one, all you're going to need to do is pip install Langchain. And here we're going to start getting into defining the camel agent class, which is just like a helper class that for the agents and importing all the things you'll need. So you're going to need, you know, the system message prompt template, human message problem template, chat open AI model. I don't know if this works with other models. This is just the one that they had in the notebook and I know people really want to see hugging face models. I do want to kind of show more of those as well. I know that's kind of more of a hot topic now. Uh, I feel like people are kind of sus on open AI right now and they're like, ah, but anyways, um, I can just kind of explain this class a bit and what's going to be happening. So when we instantiate this, we have basically, we have stored messages here. So when it's initialized, we init messages and we just start with uh, a simple array of messages and we get the first message from the initialization, which will be a system message. And then we also get a model and the model will be used for pretty much just like defining the task and like, re like refining it. So we'll talk about that in a second as we continue downward. Um, you're also going to need an open AI API key for this. And I already loaded it into my environment. So I'm not going to show you guys what it is. Um, but yeah, we can start to get into kind of how this all works. So first step is we're going to need to define an assistant role name and a user role name. So I don't know, they were doing like a trading bot on the notebook and I was like, eh, I'm not a day trader and I have no real interest in doing that. So I thought it'd be cool if, to see what they could come up with if I was like, hey, you're a Python programmer and the user is going to be a YouTube content creator and is gonna be saying, hey, like, I'm gonna help you with all of the kind of industry knowledge I have as a YouTube content creator. And the assistant is gonna be basically the the code bitch. Um, <laughs> and the task is going to be develop a program that automates the content creation process. So pretty broad, probably could be more specific. And the word limit I will set to, eh, we'll do like 60. Uh, or we'll just keep it at 50 because I, I don't want to spend more money. But um, as you can see, that is just kind of like, this is just kind of how we're, this is the whole setup process. So it does look like a lot and yeah, to be honest, it's just like a lot of text, a lot of code, just like long names, uh, but don't be overwhelmed. I'll try to explain uh, everything as I'm going along. So the task specifier message says, okay, you can make a, a task more specific. And then we have the task specifier prompt. Here is a task that assistant role so that Python programmer will help YouTube content creator to develop a program that automates content creation process to do the task. Make it more specific, be creative, imaginative. Please reply with specific tasks, uh, with, a spe with a specified task in the word limit, which we set to 50 or less, don't add anything else. So we have that prompt and we are getting, we are formatting it from, uh, the human message prompt template. 
And then we are we have a task specify agent. So this is just gonna kind of refine the task for us a bit like I was talking about. So we have the camel agent, we initialize it with the system message, which is up here. And we initialize it with the, the chat model that we're using, just like it says up here. Now, after that, we are going to be getting the task specifier message uh, by formatting the messages from the task specifier template. Uh, so you just, you're going to pass in assistant role, username role, the task, the word limit, etc. And notice we're passing all these variables in uh, because this is these are the variables that are expected in the prompt. After that, that we are going to get the specified task message by calling our specified agent, our specifier agent, uh, with the step function. So the step function, again, we update the messages. So we're pushing that. A message that we just passed into the step function onto the messages array and then we're calling the model to do what the like the previous messages messages have said so that's going to be saying like hey specify the task and then that whole long prompt and then we get the output message we append it and then we return the output message so when we run it I've already run it but uh just to show you guys Develop a Python program that uses sentiment analysis to generate video ideas from audience feedback and automate video editing by intelligently selecting and syncing visuals with audio. Okay, yeah, that works. Now, the next thing that we're doing is we're gonna be setting up the assistant and the user prompts. And I found this like kind of funny that they're like, oh, these are this is like the inception, the inception, but it kind of is like you're really just trying to tell these agents hey like don't change like this is who you are this is what you are meant to do do not do anything else i swear to god uh like that's that's literally what these are uh in layman's terms that's exactly what they're doing so it's so for the assistant you're saying never forget you're an assistant like with the, the assistant role name i am the user never flip roles never instruct me we share common interest and it's just this whole thing. Um, you can feel free to play around with the template if you want. Uh, I just find it kind of comical to think about these like soulless like agents just thinking that they're talking to another human. Um, and so for the user, it's the same thing, just flipped. So now it's saying like, never forget, you're the user, okay? I'm the assistant. Don't flip roles. You will always instruct me. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much like, I mean, you guys can play around with this, but I honestly would just take the prompts that they had because it, they did a pretty good job mirroring them. <sighs> and then we get into just the helper class. This is just for us to get the assistant system message and user message. Um, they define this, so I don't think you really need to change it. It's literally just abstracting away logic that saves you a couple lines and headache when you're just trying to reason about things. So each agent is going to get its own system message and chat model to work with. So they're going to be talking back and forth with each other now. And yeah, we reset the messages so it's a clean slate. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, here's the assistant message, which will be the human message containing what the user system message content is. So if you remember, I printed these out as well, just so you guys can see. So we printed out the user system message content and the assistant system message content, and I separated by this line. So user system message content is on top, and that is what we're passing in for the human message template uh, with or for the assistant message. So never forget, you are a YouTube content creator and I am a Python programmer. Never flip roles. You will always instruct me. So it's it's the what the assistant is going to be saying to the user. So 
the user message is going to be this, this whole thing. Now start to give me an, an introductions one one introductions one by one. This should say instructions, I think. Only reply with instruction and input. So what we're doing here is we're basically giving it giving the user or the fake user agent the like the right to like kind of kick off the process by telling the assistant what to do. So once we do that, we can basically start this. So this is like the while loop. So this is where they're basically going to start talking to each other. So you have user AI message, which we're getting from the user agent. That's step. So again, each of these are basically just calling the chat model over and over. And then the, the previous messages are being appended into that, like in memory, uh, chat history they have as that array. And so as they talk to each other, they'll remember what the other said, and they'll be able to kind of like have the context for what's going on. And yeah, so you see it goes on and on. I kind of want to let it run because I want to see what they do. Uh, I feel like they could get some very cool stuff going on. Um... But yeah, I, I know like uh, this is also just a side point as this is going. But I know like agents and auto GPTs and stuff are, you know, starting to become pretty much the new, uh, you know, like the hot girl at the party. Um, but I will say, I, I think, you know, if you're watching this, like things are definitely moving fast. But, you know, just remember, I feel like everyone thinks it's moving fast or most people do. And honestly, just try to you know, build what you enjoy and use parts of the AI tools available um, that like actually make sense to use. Don't try to force anything. Uh, like if you just want to do this stuff just to kind of have fun because it's actually just interesting, like I totally understand that. But uh, I would just say build kind of what you want uh, and like what people want more specifically. Like this could be who knows, like, do you think somebody actually wants this in, a, in like an interface, like a user? Like, hey, I'm gonna like ask two agents to talk about a problem I have. Maybe, but I don't know. They'll, they'll probably replace like, you know, like more like enterprise jobs. Like these guys can just do the grunt work of something like, hey, like talk out this problem. You have 30 minutes. Awesome. And there we go. So I'm actually gonna like copy and paste. I'm gonna try to copy and paste all this because like low key might be some gems in here. Uh, and I just wanna copy and paste and just put it in a file and look at the code later and let you guys know if it actually worked. Um, but yeah, that's the video. If you enjoyed this one, uh, let me know if you have any questions also let me know um i'll try to I, like i know people are asking like can you put these links in the repos i do i do get to it i just i try to like push a bunch at a time because i just kind of keep making videos on a rolling basis and then when i have a time where i'm just like okay i am i put it off long enough like i i just have to do it like just put out all the repos that i've been doing so um i will take them out uh, apologies if the voice sounds kind of weird. I feel like I'm kind of sick right now. Um, but yeah, other than that, drop a like, drop a sub, comments, hate comments. Um, yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. There's no outro, so uh, goodbye.